With the latest from News for Jax, I'm Joy Purdy. New details about the woman police say led them on a high-speed chase that ended in the death of a five-year-old girl. Pamela Cabrera is now facing several charges, including vehicular homicide and eluding police. Cabrera was supposed to have her first appearance in court this afternoon, but the judge said Cabrera was being disruptive and would not be in court. According to records, Cabrera has extensive criminal and mental health history in Hillsborough County. After less than three hours of deliberations, a jury has returned with a guilty verdict against a former youth pastor accused of killing and dismembering a 16-year-old boy back in 1994. In an unusual move, Ronnie Hyde told the judge he was ready to be sentenced immediately. After a tear-filled statement from the victim's brother, the judge handed down the mandatory sentence of life in prison without parole. And good news about a Jacksonville firefighter shocked last night by a live power line during a rescue at a mobile home fire. He's out of the hospital now and on light duty. This happened near Lee Road and Atlantic Boulevard in the Regency area late yesterday afternoon. Firefighters went into a home. They found a person trapped inside. That person's okay, but one of the firefighters stepped on that hot power line that came down, sending him to the hospital. You can always find the latest news on newsforjax.com. Have a great afternoon.